Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to use a ripple tank to measure the wavelength, frequency and speed of water waves. And this is a required practical so you need to learn the details. I'll be covering the second part of this practical in the next video. Ok now a ripple tank is used to observe the features of water waves and I'm showing you a picture of a ripple tank here. A ripple tank is a shallow tray of water and in the water is a vibrating bar. The bar is connected to a power pack. When the bar vibrates it creates waves across the surface of the water. Above the ripple tank we've got a lamp and below the tank we've got a sheet of white paper. When light shines through the water it produces an image of the waves on the paper. So we're going to use this setup to measure the wavelength, frequency and speed of the water waves. Now the easiest way to do this is to record the waves using a mobile phone. That allows us to play back the recording at different speeds or to freeze the image completely. So we're going to start by measuring the wavelength of the waves. This is quite straightforward. To measure the wavelength we place a ruler on the paper. We then freeze the image of the waves like this. We now measure the distance between one wave and ten waves further. In other words a total of ten wavelengths. So in this case 10 wavelengths equals 26 centimetres, in other words 0.26 metres. To find one wavelength we now divide this by 10. This gives us a value of 0.026 metres for the wavelength of these waves. Ok finding the frequency is a bit harder. Remember that the frequency is the number of waves passing a point each second. To find the frequency we need to place a timer next to the paper and then count the number of waves passing a point in one second. That's hard to do, so it's more accurate to count the number of waves in 10 seconds and then divide by 10. Again this is easier if we record this and then watch it in slow motion, but remember we need to record the timer as well as the waves. So I'm going to count the number of waves that pass the arrow in 10 seconds, starting now. Ok so the total number of waves was 24 in 10 seconds. So the frequency is 24 divided by 10. This gives us a frequency of 2.4 waves per second, in other words 2.4 Hz. Ok we're going to finish now by looking at how to determine the speed of the waves and this is fairly straightforward. We already know the wavelength and the frequency of the waves. We can now use the wave equation to determine the speed. Remember that the wave speed is the frequency in Hz multiplied by the wavelength in meters. In this case the frequency is 2.4 Hz and the wavelength is 0.026 meters. Multiplying these together gives us a wave speed of 0.0624 meters per second. Another way to determine the wave speed is to select a wave and then measure the time it takes to move the length of the tank. We calculate the speed by dividing the distance travelled by the time taken. I should point out that we might get slightly different results using these two methods and that's due to measurement errors, for example in timing. Remember you'll find plenty more questions on this required practical in my Vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.